Ford Field, located in Detroit, will be our site for this upcoming game between New York and Detroit. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With the dome protecting us from the elements, weather won't have an effect on this one today. I'm Tom Hammond. Chris Collinsworth is here. We're ready for the call. And this kick will get the game started. Kicker looks ready to get this one started. Let's head down to the field for the opening kickoff. And now their offense will take the field for the first time in the game. They line up at the 25. Detroit lines up with three receivers. Kitnett looking to throw on first down. Comes down with it. And they get him at the 41-yard line. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. New 45! New 45! Right, right! Tiger, Tiger, Tiger! First down, looking to throw. And the defense has a heavy rush. Completed. He makes a great open field tackle. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. He's tackled at the 50. Pick up of about five. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 50. Kitnett is under center. Only one man back here. Play action. Short pass to his left. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. Fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt this one away. Harris to punt. He gets it away. And it'll be down at the four. Not much the return man can do there. Yeah, he really did the right thing there. That's just to let it go, get out of the way, and really was just give the guy credit. It was a good kick, very fortunate bounce. The last thing in the world you want to do in that kind of a situation is to fumble the football, give it up, short field for the other team, and a quick score. Brought down at the 16-yard line. Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. Manning comes to the line under center. He has two backs behind him. Back to throw. Dumps it out right. He's brought down at the 24-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. He fakes it, throws it short, and he caught it. And they get him at the 26-yard line. He just couldn't make anything happen after bringing that one in. And that play's really all about the closing speed on defense. They'll let you have the completion, but then they close quickly and make the play. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Tough break for the offense. Yeah, they went to the run, hoping they would pick up the first down. Of course, I've been hoping to be a rock star all my life, and neither one of those things happen. He punts it. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Inside give. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. They pick up two yards. That brings up second down. 
Smith lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out one. He's looking to throw. He throws a bullet out to his right. Madison gets his hand on it. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Looks to pass. Short throw. He's tackled at the 37. And that one was completed for a solid gain. Solid gain, yes, but no first down on that play. So now it's going to bring up a decision on the part of the offense. Defensively, I think they executed that one exactly the way they wanted to. Punts it. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 23. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Manning hands off to the left. The defender gets him to the ground. Not much there, and that makes it third down. Third down now, they'll need seven to convert. Ball on the 23. On play action, it's completed. He's brought down at the 42. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass, open it up down the field. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. Jacobs comes away with around five yards on the misdirection run. They line up in a one-back set. New York sends a man in motion. Back to pass. Throws on the run. Tackled around the 43-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. They give it to the tailback. And they get him at the 42. A one-yard gain. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run. But by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. The halfback with the carry. He's dropped for a loss. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Manning takes it back, looks down the field. They picked it off. He's brought down around the 32-yard line. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. They line up at the 32. The Lions come out in the shotgun. There are three receivers wide. Let's go, let's go. 
Back to throw. Short throw to the right. Knocked out of bounds at the 25. McDonald caught that one for a gain of six. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. And they use motion. Looking to throw. He throws right. Makes the reception. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Fakes to the back. And they're coming after him. Knocks it away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Smith is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Play action. Open field ahead. Looks like the penalty is going to cost them. This one should be coming back. Personal foul, face pass, defense. And the defense gives up some three yards to the offense. I always thought a defensive penalty was so much more deflating than an offensive penalty because on offense, you have a chance to make up for it. On defense, a lot of times, it's big yardage and automatic first downs. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Hickson fields it at the three. And he gets brought down hard. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. The defense sets up in the nickel. The Giants use motion. Looks for a man open. Oh, and he drops. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. He drops back, throws the bullet to the right, and they get him at the 42. Personal foul, face back, defense. The defense First can't down. keep giving up yards on penalties like this. Yeah, it's hard enough in the game today with the rule changes to help the offense to stop an offense anyway, but you can't give away yards. Here's the halfback. Brought down at the 35. Jacobs gains around eight yards on the run. They line up at the 35. Ace backfield this time. He drops back to pass. Makes the throw out to his right. Tackled at the eight. How about that completion? Boy, did that quarterback stand in there firm that time. He knew the pressure was coming. He knew he was going to get hit. He didn't care. Took advantage for a big play. Here they go. First and goal down by a touchdown. For the first time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. They go with the run. Cuts back and he's dropped. Almost got a yard. That'll bring up second down. The offense sets up seven yards away. Single set backfield. Oh, 
fakes the run, dumps it out left, and he catches it. And they get him at the five-yard line. Shockey grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third down. They're crowding the line. Manning hands it off straight ahead. He's tackled right around the two-yard line. Well, they tried to push it ahead, but the defense stopped them short on the first down. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. The kick is up and right down the middle. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. And at the two. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense is looking to build off the momentum from their previous drive, which resulted in a touchdown. Hands it to the back. Brought down around the 27-yard line. The running back gains two yards on the carry. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. Back to throw. He throws on the run. Tackled around the 33-yard line. That's a seven-yard gain. Third and a yard now. Kitna is under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Detroit uses motion. Back to pass. Throws it short. There for the reception. He took a shot at the 39-yard line. And that will be enough for the first down. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense. But any time you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. Smith gets another carry. He's dropped at the 41-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. They line up in an eye. He's looking to throw. Gets the throw off. Brought down at the 49-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Again with the run. He lost yardage on the play. That defensive lineman just seems to have a knack for finding the ball carry. You know, listen... I I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. Phillips knocks it away. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. Third down. Third and ten coming up. This is the eighth play of this drive. Detroit comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's running out of time. There for the catch. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 45. Good pass and catch, but it won't be enough to convert. I always have to snicker a little bit when I see a pass play like that. I can almost hear John Madden talking about, how can you pick up the first down when you complete the pass short of the sticks? What are they thinking about? And he's just so right. Harris will kick it away. And boy, did he get all of this. What a punt. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. Single back formation. He drops back to pass. Passes the ball. He's tackled at the 25. Pickup of about five. 
Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Manning comes to the line with 3-1. Jacobs takes the give. He's dropped around the 27-yard line. The delay gets maybe two yards. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They'll come out in the eye. They'll give it off here. They will be short. Got a couple, but will still be short of the marker. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. Gets the punt away. Moore takes it at the 32. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. They go with the run. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of about a yard, and that will bring up second down. They line up at the 35. They'll go from the I formation. Kitna takes it back. He throws short. Tackled at the 40. They gain five on the play. So that'll make it third down. We played a quarter. The score is 7-3. from their own 40-yard line. Kitnett lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Scatter, scatter, scatter! Get that ball back. He drops back to pass. Pass completed. He's dropped in the open field. He makes the catch with Chris. That'll move the chain. And they're doing it with short ball control type passes. This is the type of offense that really frustrates a defense. And they get him at the 45. Nice blocking on the counter. He was able to pick up around eight yards. Kitnett steps up to the line. Three wide receivers. Fakes to the back. Sacked. The cornerback came out of nowhere. I really love those corner blitzes. Not only do you shake up the quarterback and his reads, but you also get maybe one of the fastest guys on the field coming off the corner, and man, can they get to a quarterback in a hurry. Looks to pass. Gets the pass away. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. The quarterback put that one too far out in front of his receiver, and he couldn't stay inbound. He tried to make a safe throw there, but the receiver was open. It didn't have to be quite that cautious and just let him out of bounds. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. It appears that we have a flag on the play. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. Holding, holding defense. Penalty is declined. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They line up in a one-back set. They give it to the tailback. Dropped behind the line. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Manning drops back. Passes to his left. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. 
A huge gain by the tailback. You know, we talk about how important the running backs are as receivers in the West Coast offense. Well, that time he went almost all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast with that one. First down and 10 to go now, following the big game through the air. Two tight ends here. Manning sends a guy in motion to the right. Setting up play action. Makes the throw out to his left. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. The Giants come out in a single back formation. Hand off on the draw. He's dropped at the 49-yard line. Jacobs gets around three on that halfback draw. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes, and that time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. He needs to make a decision. Brings it in. He's brought down at the 38. They pick up several yards there on the pass. And that fake really was the difference. Not only did the quarterback sell it, the running back sold it, the offensive line did, and the receiver was open for a nice play. He drops back to pass. Guns it to the middle. Brought down at the 27. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. First down, looking to throw. Makes the catch. He's dropped around the 14-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. And he has been his go-to guy on the drive. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Huge pressure by the defense. Passes, end zone. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Here's the pass. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes, and every once in a while, you're going to get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. To the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown! And that was a nice connection for the score. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Set down. The kick is up. New York is up by three. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks it off. Taken at the five. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Smith is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Setting up play action. Short throw to the left. Out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Looks like a gain of three on the pass. That'll bring up second down. 
They line up at the 30. They'll come out with three wide receivers. Here's the halfback. And they get him right around the 30-yard line. Pick up of less than a yard. That'll bring up third down. Third down and seven. Ball on the 31. They'll come out in the eye. Hitting it, looking to pass. He throws left, and it's completed. Brought down at the 35. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. New York looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this punter. Punts it. McQuarters fields it at the 26. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. They were able to score through the air the last time they had the ball. Let's see what they planned for this drive. The Giants come out in a two tight end set. They go with the run. And they get him at the 45. Jacobs gains eight yards on that play. They line up at the 45. The Giants come out in the ace formation. Back to throw. All kinds of pressure. Out of bounds at the 49-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Sets up the play action. Makes the catch. What an open field tackle. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Tackle at the 21 yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. Gives to the back. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Jacobs picks up five yards with the carry. Second down and five. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. He's dropped right around the 12-yard line. Jacobs comes away with about two yards on the counter play. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short gain. The Giants come out in the shotgun. There are three receivers wide. He's tackled at the 10. It looks like he just made it. And remember, those guys on the field can't see that yellow line, but sometimes they can feel it. That time, just enough for that first down. New York uses motion. He's under pressure. He's there for the catch. Into the end zone for a touchdown. And that one worked just like they drew it up. You have to be careful with this offense not to pay too much attention to those great receivers on the outside. Sometimes those tight ends can really be a problem. What did that pay off big? Point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Get off. 
Moore takes it from the six. They can't bring him down. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Smith alone in the backfield. Drops back on first down. Is there for the catch. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Loses a yard on that completion. I don't think they fooled anybody on the defense with that one. They were just sitting out there waiting for it, and that's a loss. Short throw to the right. Tackle around the 37-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Catch is made. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside, but blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. The ball falls short, and the receiver can't come up with it. Well, the quarterback really has to get that one out there a little bit better. The receiver really didn't have much of a chance for that one. They give it to the tailback. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. That's four yards on the play, and that makes it third down. They come out with three wide receivers. They hand it off. They tackle him for a loss. No chance there. That will be fourth down. The defense was just all over that. I have to think offensively they were concerned that maybe they were going to get blitzed in that situation, try and pop one in there. But when you call a run and it fails, it looks bad in that spot. Punts it. And they'll down it at the one. This offense seems to have found its stride as they take the field again after their last two successful drives. Manning steps to the line of scrimmage. I formation this time. Play fake. And he only got one hand on it, but he still brings it down. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. Drops back. Throws it out. Bats it away. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Two tight end formation this time. He fakes it. Pass is complete. Great open field tackle. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Back to throw. He rolls out to the right. Makes the grab. Huge hit. He's got four catches now. from their own 28-yard line. They line up in an eye. Gives it off. He's brought down right around the 28-yard line. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. They'll throw for the first. Passes. 
No, he drops it. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fegels is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Moore fields it at the 35. He's dropped at the 38. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. New 45! New 45! No, 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 no! Roger, Roger, Roger! Hut, hut. Hey, back, back, feet! Brought down at the 39-yard line. And a pickup of about two. That'll bring up second down. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Here's the give. He's brought down at the 45. The ball carrier gives them six yards on the ground. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Hitnett steps to the line of scrimmage. Three wide receivers this time. Throws out to the left. Two minutes left in the half. That was a nice play. Yeah, the quarterback and receiver read that one all the way and took advantage of the blitz to come up with a big time play. It's first and ten. Detroit sets up in the up. Smith on the give. Tackle right around the 20-yard line. Smith gets six yards on the play. They line up in the I formation. Kitna changes the play at the line. Kitnett will look to throw. Rifles this one out to the right. He's tackled at the 13. It looks like they're going to go no huddle. The Lions go with the I formation. Kitnett adjusts the play at the line. Kitnett will look to pass. Dumps it out right. Out of bounds around the 11 yard line. It's completed, but not a whole lot of yardage gained on the play. Yeah, this is a defense that just has too much speed for plays like that. You have to loosen them up some with some deep attempts for the short passes underneath the work. Tosses it out. He doesn't get back to the line. The halfback loses a yard on the toss. Loss of loss. They'll come out in the eye. Detroit using an audible. Detroit takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third and ten. Back to pass. Throws wild on the run. Bradley was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. So, it's fourth down, and they'll attempt the field goal here. This one is from about 29 yards out. Kick is up. He's got it. Good kick that time as he puts it right through. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. Hit and dropped at the 35. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll set up shop at the 35. They line up in the shotgun. Cut! New 45! New 45! 
They'll throw on first down. On the run, he throws it. And he's knocked out at the 45. Nice toss that time that'll get them a lot closer. You know, there's really no doubting this quarterback's physical skills. Sometimes he struggles with his mechanics or accuracy, but I don't think that there's really any issue. This guy has the ability to be an elite quarterback. Dumps it out left. And he made a great open field tackle. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. He catches another. He's brought down at the 30s. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Throws it. Batted away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. They'll come out with three wide receivers. Tosses it out. It's a fumble. It's scooped up by the defense. And that was not a good time for a fumble. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals, and he gave it up. He looks to throw on first down. With the catch. Tackled around the 35-yard line. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. To the 10. He gets in for six. And that's about as well executed a play as you can ask for. And that's no fluke right there. We saw him hit that play a couple of times in practice the other day. That's something they're going to come back to until you find a way to stop it. Kick is up. And the point after is good. And here's the kick. Hickson fields it at the 1. At the 30. He's hammered at the 36-yard line. The first half comes to a close with our score all tied up. Decent kick. It's fielded at the 2. Big hit there to bring him down. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Jacobs on the run. He's dropped around the 28-yard line, and the halfback has nowhere to go from their own 28-yard line. Only one man back. Drops back to pass. Rifles it right. Brought down at the 43-yard line. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next. But this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. They'll work the right side, and they get him at the 44-yard line. Maybe a yard. That brings up second down. Second and nine. Manning lines up in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. They'll keep it on the ground again. 
and he dropped him in the open field. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. They line up at the 47. Manning is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out one. Fakes to the back. Strong throw to the center of the field. Tackled at the 33. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try to make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. He throws left, and it's caught. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Looks to pass. Passes to his left. Excellent open field tackle. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. On play action, brings this one in. He's tackled around the one-yard line. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. It's the tailback. Brought down behind the line. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. Well, Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Goes for the end zone. And he makes the catch. Touchdown. Tight end scored that time and with authority. If you get those big tight ends moving vertically down the field, they can be really intimidating for defensive backs. Good pitch and catch there. They're lining it up for the point after. And the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick is away. From his own goal line. Drill at the 27. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Three wideouts here. There's a play fake. He makes the catch. A lot of room to run. Five-yard pickup on the play pass that time. From their own 32-yard line. The Lions line up with two tight ends. A little misdirection. Brought down at the 35. The misdirection play gets them four yards. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 35. Smith alone back. On play action, rockets it out. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Harris punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. McQuarters takes it at the 23. 
tackled at the 32-yard line. The offense is looking to build off the momentum from their previous drive, which resulted in a touchdown. New York comes out with two tight ends. They go with a toss. He's going to be tackled for a loss. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. He didn't get back to the line. That was a big-time play by a big-time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Drops back. Defense closing in. Baden has the pick. At the 30. And they get him at the 18-yard line. What a big-time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down at the 15. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter. Second and seven situation here. Ball on the 15. Detroit goes with the ace set here. The halfback with the carry. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. A yard, maybe two, on the carry. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Looks to pass. Fires it right. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And right down the middle. Pretty good kick that time, and he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Not a bad kick. From the five-yard line. They get him at the 36-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. They hand it off, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So a gain of about one, and that will bring up second down. New York comes out in the shotgun. They hand it off again. He's dropped at the 43-yard line. So that play goes for about six, and so it'll be third down. New York goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Short throw to the right. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. They complete the pass, but it won't be enough for the first. Yeah, that's one of those balls that looks good in the stats for the quarterback because he gets a completion, but for this offense, it's going to bring up fourth down. Huge play defensively to make that stop. Gets the punt away. He brings it in at the 14. He's brought down around the 22-yard line. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Tango, tango on the top, tango on the top. Hey, 
Here's the give. And they get him about the 25-yard line. Smith gets about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 26. One man backfield. On the ground with a tailback. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Three yards on the run. They'll come out with three wide receivers. Drops back with the pass. He's brought down at the 40. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Defense is getting pressure. Comes down with it. Brought down right around the 40-yard line. Nice job of shutting down the first down pass. Yeah, it looked like that time the defense knew exactly what was coming. They were right there from the outset to make that play. He's looking to throw with the hard throw out to his right. Nice grab on the play, his second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm going to expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver, he's talented, he can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. Hitting it back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. Gets it away cleanly. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 28. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. He drops back. He throws it. And they get him right around the 42-yard line. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out of there, picked up a nice game. They'll give it off here. He's tackled around the 50-yard line. Jacobs picks up about seven yards on the run. Single back formation. They hand it off again. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a three-yard gain. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Drops back to pass. Looks down the field. Throws on the run. Completed. He's brought down at the 28-yard line. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man cover. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. Jacobs gets the carry. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Jacobs gains about a yard on the play. They line up at the 27. Manning lines up under center. Only one man back here. They hand it off again. Hit and drop behind the line. Disappointing loss there for the offense. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. Strong throw. And they get him at the 12. 
That last catch puts him over 100 receiving yards. And one of the things I like watching about this receiver is that he understands how to read coverages. More often than not, a wide receiver has to understand reading coverages at least as well as the quarterback. Otherwise, the quarterback will see one thing and the receiver another. Fakes the run, throws it short, and he caught it. He gets knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Six-yard pickup. We're at play number nine on the current drive. New York lines up in the offset eye this time. Fumble. And they're able to get back the fumble. That was a fortunate bounce for the offense. Every once in a while, you just have to have a little luck, and they're lucky to get that one back. All the defensive backs in for this one. Back to throw. He throws right. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. It looked like he tried to drag his feet as he was going out, but he couldn't get him down. You know, and sometimes that happens. The quarterback put it in a spot where only he could catch it. The problem was the ball was just a little off target. And he makes it. Not much doubt as he puts that one right through the upright. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Here's the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Big hit there to bring him down. They had to put it away on their previous drive. The offense will start at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Kitnett lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. He's brought down at about the 21. Less than a yard. That'll bring up second down. Kitna comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. They go with the run. He's hammered in the backfield. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Looks to pass. Throws to the middle. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. They just get enough for the first down. That's just great offense right there. Anytime you have a third and long situation and you can execute a play like that for a first down, that's impressive. Defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 32-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's dropped around the 41-yard line. They get nine yards on the play. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Gets the pass out. This one won't find a target. The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. He punts it. McQuarters fields it at the 18. He's tackled at the 25. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. The offense will take over at the 25, first and 10. They line up in an eye. First and 10. 
First down, looking to throw. He couldn't hang on to it. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Back to pass. Gets the pass away. Tipped pass. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. They'll go from the I formation. Nice play fake. And the back has some running room. Tackled at the 38. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. Not much there. That brings up second down from their own 38-yard line. They line up in a one-back set. Jacobs on the delay. And they get him at the 39-yard line. Jacobs picks up a yard on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The backfield is in the offset I formation. The Giants motion to the right side. Fullback straight ahead. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Is that the right call to make? Yeah, that's because the offense shouldn't have called a run there. That's just, that's sort of a give-up play. You know, you hear people talk about, well, we're just going to run one in there and punt the football away. I, I'm just not made that way. I'm an old offensive guy. I say, let's sling it. He fields the punt at the 20. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. Out of the I formation. On the ground with a tailback. Hit hard at the 32-yard line. Four-yard gain by the back. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 32. Kittnett lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Drops back. Fires it out. He's dropped around the 44-yard line. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. Looks to pass. Passes to his left. Out of bounds at the 45. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Gives it off. He's brought down at about the 45-yard line. And that's a gain of about eight. First and 10, ball on the 46. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll give it off here. He's dropped about the 43-yard line. Gain of two, and that will bring up second down. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Kitna comes to the line under center. Single back backfield this time. Nice play fake. He throws on the run. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. The wideout has put on quite a display out there en route to a 100-yard performance. And there really just isn't anything this receiver can't do. Just keep feeding him the football. I don't care what the coverage is. This is a guy that wants the ball in tough situations. 
He's brought down around the 24-yard line. Smith gains about five yards on the run. They line up at the 24. Smith lines up as the deep back, I formation. He's looking to throw. Throws to his right. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He couldn't get two feet in on that one. Well, that's something receivers work on all the time, dragging that back toe, just unable to do it that time. Kitna is back in the gun. Kitna back to throw. He throws left. Tackle around the 14-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Play fake. It's completed. And they get him at about the five-yard line. That's now his third reception of the drive. Pretty clear who the favorite target is on this possession. You know, this receiver is just one of those guys that you want to keep busy. Some guys only want to try and catch the deep balls or the big plays. Other guys want to catch a lot of balls. This is one of those guys. He gets into a rhythm, and he can beat you. That brings up another third down attempt. And they'll line this one up with two tight ends. Fullback on the inside give. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Loss of two for the fullback. Looks like they decided to go for it here. Hitna is in the shotgun. He has four receivers split out wide. They'll keep it on the ground again. He looks short, and he is. Turnover on downs. They'll take over at the six. Jacobs alone in the backfield. Setting up play action. Makes the reception. And not a whole lot of yardage gained on that one, Chris. And that's one of those plays where you leave it up to the receiver to make yardage after the catch is made. When he can't find his way into open space, you'll see plays like that. Manning sends a man in motion. Rifles it out there. Knocked out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. They motion to the right. On play action. And the pass is knocked away. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. They line up at the 18. New York lines up in a shotgun set. Manning will look to pass with a pass. It's incomplete. The quarterback led the receiver just a little too much. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. The Lions line up with six DBs on the field. The halfback with the carry. And they didn't get it. Is that a good play call? Yeah, you know, Tom, I really do like that one. Uh, you're giving up a chance, I guess, for a first down. But you probably have a bigger chance in that situation to turn the football over. So just turn around, hand it off, and he nearly broke it out of there. Gets the punt away. Moore fields it at the 35. He's brought down at the 46-yard line. They gave up way too many yards on the return there, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. As part of the coverage team now, you've got to free yourself from that blocker as quickly as possible. And if you can't do that, you're going to give up some big returns. Give to the tailback. 
and he will lose yardage on the play. A one-yard loss. That'll bring up second down. They'll go from the I formation. Looking to throw. Under heavy pressure. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay in bound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one. Just thrown a little bit too far outside. He's looking to throw. Rifles this one out to the middle. Brought down at the 43-yard line. He ran a clean route, and the quarterback got it to him with a good pass. First down. And you can tell there's a lot of confidence between these two guys. The quarterback has faith in these tough situations to go to that receiver and make big plays. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the false call. False start. Offense. He needs to pay a little better attention to what he's doing out there. I think those are just embarrassing. You go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Back to throw. Looking for a receiver. He's under pressure. And he's dragged down for the sack. And that was a nice play to get in there for the sack. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Defense closing in, and he catches it. And he's knocked out right around the 48-yard line. Campbell picks up about a yard with that completion. Kittner lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Surveys the field. There for the reception. Tackled at the 37. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. Well, it looked like the set down was good. Maybe he lost his footing a little when he went to step into that one. You know, if kickers get out of their rhythm just a little bit, they can really miss a kick badly. So the score will remain the Lions 20, the Giants 27. He fakes it. Gets it off. There for the catch. He's pushed out at about the 47-yard line. Pass completed for a gain of eight. Second down and two to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Two tight end formation this time. Feeds it to the back. He's brought down around the 45-yard line. And with that run, the defense just gave up the first down. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. There's a play fake. Guns it out. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to the football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. Manning will look to pass. Pass completed. Tackled around the 19-yard line. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that play. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. It's the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. Great read there. It looked like the defense knew the counter was coming. And a lot of times in that situation, they read offensive linemen. And the minute you see those offensive linemen, sometimes even in their stance, sort of sitting back, you know the counter's coming, you can get penetration and make a play in the backfield just like that. Manning drops back, throws it short. Incomplete pass this time. 
Ward was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long try. This will be a 40-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. And it's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. He kicks it off. And he'll return this one from the seven. Hit and dropped at the 29-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Drops back. He passes short. He's brought down at the 38. He's put up some nice yardage. He sure has, but throwing for 300 yards probably isn't quite the same feat it used to be. You know, there's so many rule changes now. The offensive linemen can do a little more holding, use their hands more. Of course, you can't hit the receivers, but it's still a nice landmark. Dumps it out right. And he's drilled at the 44-yard line. That was a decent game there on the pass. Yeah, no hesitation whatsoever. He hit that back foot, planted, threw the ball, knew exactly what he wanted to do. He's looking to throw. He throws right. Out of bounds, incomplete. Furry was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Kitnett lines up in the shotgun. He has four receivers in the formation. He drops back, looking for an open man. Brings it in. He's tackled at the 40. How about that pass? There's really no better feeling as an offense, especially for the quarterback position, than to take advantage when the defense is trying to blitz you. They're trying to make you nervous, and you just made them pay. Makes the throw up the middle. Brought down at the 27. A decent gain on the pass. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Kitnett looking to throw. Looks down the field. Loose football. And they fall on the loose ball. And they were lucky to fall on that one. The defense was closing in to scoop it up. You have to protect the ball. It's really just as simple as that. You cannot have turnovers and expect to be successful in a game like this. Huge pressure by the defense. Steps out at the 33. That play-action pass didn't fool anybody. That'll bring up a third and long. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a play fake. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Kicks it. Got plenty of distance. He missed it wide right. Tough break as he just can't get it to go. Boy, and that looks like it may be the final opportunity. You had to have two scores. The field goal was your first shot. Obviously, the onside kick would have followed, but you missed the kick, and it looks like game over. Setting up play action. It's tipped away. Very surprising to see them go with a pass play in that situation. Well, you want to stay. Inside give. Tackle at the 41-yard line. And the halfback has nowhere to go. The Giants come to the line with their jumbo packing. Little handoff. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Offense comes up short on the third down conversion. That's where I'd like to see the quarterback have a little flexibility in the game plan. He comes to the line of scrimmage. 
He could not have liked what he saw that time with the defense they deployed. Why not get out of that play and check off? New York brings in the nickel here. Drops back on first down. And it's completed. He's dropped at about the 21. Nothing wrong with that pass. The goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. Shows a fake spike. Makes the catch. He's brought down at the 33. And it's the tailback with a big catch. And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make Smith was the intended receiver on the play and it falls incomplete. Second down. From their own 33-yard line. Detroit comes out with an I formation. He drops back to pass. He throws a bullet across the middle. Brought down at the 48-yard line. He puts something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. And they'll try one last pass to pad some stats. But that's about all they'll get right here. Looks to pass. Looking for a receiver. Phillips knocks it away. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Second down, 10 yards to go. This one is over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised to see everyone trying to pick this one up. Back to throw. And the defense has a heavy rush. No completion. He can't bring that one in. That would have been a heck of a catch. And sometimes I think quarterbacks get so cautious on throws like that because they don't want to turn the football over. Give your guy a chance to make a play down the field. Back to pass. Throws a bullet. Tipped away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific with the quarterback's eyes. Made a quick jump on the ball, and we're all over that one. Drops back. He needs to get rid of it. He's there for the catch. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. And that will be the conclusion of this game. Our final score is the Giants 30, the Lions 20.